Hello folks, I'm OdinSpac33, and this is a weird start spot for today's video. That's because today on Super Mario Advance 2 Super Mario World, we're not doing any of that, we're actually playing Mario Bros. Um, this game is included on every Super Mario Advance game. Just as like a little alternate. And what's cool about them is that all four of them can be connected with each other. Uh, to play this, like, so through uh, Game Link. You actually only need one to be able to play the battle mode. But if you want to play through the classic mode, which is what we're about to play through single player, then you need everyone who have to own their own game packs. You need link cables and stuff. Stuff I don't have. Stuff something that'd be really fun to do as a like a convention project, I think. Uh, but it's a very simple game. Yeah, you, you kick over these uh, spinies or whatever enemies you got here. You, know, you flip them, then you kick them, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. Uh, you only get one hit. In the battle mode, you get two hits. Uh, you're actually like Super Mario in that mode. Uh, this one, this introduced a whole bunch of uh, slew of extras. Like for instance, I don't think that was in the original Mario Bros. where you kick a bunch of enemies at once and you get extra points. Uh, very helpful for building extra lives in this. Uh, you can also do the Mario 2 Super Jump uh, by holding down and doing that. Because the first Mario Advance game was Mario 2, so I really feel like this Mario Bros. Arcade is heavily inspired from Mario 2 because of that. I don't know if that was the intent or not, uh, but it certainly feels that way. You can use the POW block uh, to flip everything. You can hit it up three times, or you can pick it up and throw it. Um, <laughs> not recommended until it's down to its last uh, go because you completely waste it otherwise. So not exactly a good idea to do <laughs> at, while you still have a full power block. Alright, we're gonna get this here. And there we go, I got an extra life there for 20,000 points. I think every time the area changes, uh, you, you get a power block back. So that's good. But you definitely have a lot more uh, free-range motion in this Mario Arcade than you do in the original Mario Arcade, Mario Bros. Arcade. Uh, it's a lot more modern, that's to say. Your jumps are a lot more easily controlled. So that's good. And I like it. And it's got different music and stuff like that. Now we got uh, these guys, Sidesteppers, I believe they're called. I don't know all the names of all the Mario Bros. enemies, but... The one disadvantage this game has is it's, uh... The lack of verticalness, because the Game Boy Advance, you can't see every enemy, which is really annoying. Especially for a game like this. Uh, you can definitely jump into some enemies sometimes, because you can't see them. And it can be really frustrating. But it's it's a good time sink, and the battle mode is is really fun. I really want to show it off one day. Uh, what's cool about the two-player one is uh, you get a little garbage can where this POW block is at the bottom. So instead of being a POW block, there's a garbage can. And you can go in it, and like there's a bunch of goodies inside of it. Like Sometimes you get a POW block in there, but sometimes you get other items in there too. I think there's a star man you can get, which you can just kill your opponent with. Um, like a mushroom, obviously, you know, just if you've taken a hit, you can get it back. There's a whole slew of fun goodies that are in there. I think sometimes you get like a fishbone, and it's like just nothing. It's just like, you know, it's, you're in the garbage, what do you expect? <laughs> but the, the little backgrounds are a nice little touch. Alright, now we got the, la the last of the uh, enemies you have to flip over here. I don't know what these guys are called. They're just the flies. I don't know, I've never familiarized myself with... Uh, the traditional Mario Bros. enemies. I feel kind of bad about it. It's, they're classic enemies. I missed out on getting a coin. You want to get as many points as you can uh, for this game. Because you want to get all the extra lives you can. This game does get very tough. Uh, it's already pretty tough, actually. You, I, wonder what, I don't know what the highest combo I've gotten is with these enemies. You can, you can be pretty clever and set them up. You can destroy the fireballs, it just did not succeed. Uh, the flies actually don't speed up um, when they're down to the last enemy. Every other enemy does that, but not the flies. I don't know why that is. 
there, I think there's only one more mechanic we have to be introduced to. Oh no, two more mechanics we have to be introduced to. The green fireball is one. Um, here's the other mechanic, the icy, icy platforms. But there's actually an enemy that can make platforms icy, which is really annoying. I always do this bonus game the same way. Eventually you get less time to do this. I don't know if it's ever 10 seconds, because I didn't do that with 10 seconds left. I know it goes down to 15 for sure. But I'm doing not too bad so far. But this would be a lot of fun with four people. Like, you I, you can go through the entire classic mode with four people. Like, that's awesome. Uh, I know uh, two second player takes, like, Luigi coloring, but he still look like Mario. I don't know. Like, I think there's a Wario color. Here's the Freezies, by the way. So they freeze platforms. I don't know if, um... The fourth player takes the look of Waluigi. But I know Wario's one. There might just be, like, a blue one. Oh, I might die. Whew. Almost did. And I think that ice platform is actually going to stay there until... Okay, no, it's not. <laughs> I think in the original Mario Bros. Arcade, it stays there until you get to the bonus game. There we go. That was pretty cool. I'm doing pretty solid right now. I haven't died yet, so who knows how long this video is going to be. Watch, the video time is only like a minute left, like some tragedy happens to me while I'm playing this. I'm doing really solid. Yeah, those freezies, if you flip them, they, they just die. You get 500 points, I think, for it. Which is alright. Uh, in this game, every 100,000 points you get earns you a star on your file. So you can get up to 5, presumably. I think I've gotten two before. I think I've gotten 200,000. Which, I mean, look at my points already, right? Like, how, how do I only get that? I'm doing pretty solid, as you can see, but this game gets really hard. Like, eventually, it's not down to, like, hey, how can I combo these enemies? It's, hey, how can I survive? That's what it gets to. I haven't really had to use the power blocks. Power blocks, I save them just in case I need them. They're nice little like, last ditch, I need to flip over everything, because I'm overwhelmed. But, unless I don't have to use them, I will But yeah, there we go, I got our first star right there. 100,000. But I guess we'll just keep playing until... I don't know. Whenever. There we go. Doing really solid, so this is good. Ah, that was it. There's only five enemies in this wave. I feel like there's gonna be a bonus game now. No, I don't. I I don't think it's like every five. I think it's just kind of. It's not random. It's, it's definitely uh, the same every time. But I don't know how often they appear. Maybe it is every five. We are on phase fourteen. I don't know. I, I like the original Mario Bros. Arcade. I've never played it on NES. Uh, I have played the original arcade. I played it at PAX East uh, a while back now. Oh, there's my first death with uh, Corona 180. My good friend that I, I haven't really talked to in a while. If you're watching, man, we should talk sometime. <laughs> There's no reason I can't start up the conversation. And I see you on Skype all the time and I don't say anything. But, uh, good friend of mine. Just... I haven't seen him in a while. I haven't talked to him. It's probably because I didn't go to PAX East this year. That's definitely why. Uh, but yeah, PAX East was a fun time. And playing Mario... They had a huge arcade section. Uh, Magfest has a good arcade section too. But I never really go to it. I always go to the, the video game challenges. Because <laughs> that's what I'm obsessed with. I really like doing those. But that's what's really that's what's fun about Magfest is playing different games. I didn't really do that at Con Bravo this year. I did a little bit. I played Bust a Move. Uh, they had a it wasn't an arcade. They did have some arcade cabinets, but uh, it was a I get Neo Geo. Is that what that's on? That sounds right. It had a big old joystick and everything. So it, it must have been that. I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, this is kind of my strategy for this year. Or, this is the last enemy, right? There we go. Okay, this has got to be the bonus game. Okay. 
Yeah, now it's down to 15 seconds, and now the platforms are gone, because, like, how don't you know where the platforms are by now? Like, I don't even need to see them, really, to, to know where they are at this point. Like, they're definitely, you know, the same the entire time. You know what they look like, which is kind of crazy to think. You can just keep doing the same thing over and over again, it just builds in your head, and you just become so repetitious at it, you know what you're doing. Alright, this is where it starts getting hard, right here. Because these little ice things fall down and can easily kill you. And sometimes when you're low enough on the screen, you can't even see them spawn. Like right here. And that's what gets me a lot when I'm playing this. Is those little ice uh, shards falling on me. This is where this game starts getting really hard. Uh, and y these will always be ice. You, you, can, uh, you can actually stop them from forming if you hit them before they form. This sounds really convoluted. I think the pal block destroys them too. But, uh... That, this is where the game starts getting really hard. i trying to remember... Was this Slim who did... I want to say Shadow Mario 41 did a video of this. But I could see Slim doing it, because he definitely did the advanced version of Yoshi's Island. I don't know, I always talk about stuff like this in my videos, because... I don't know. It's, interests me, I guess. People don't like bringing up, like, other people, and, um... Oh, well, there's me picking up a pal block by accident. Oh, let's show this off. Yeah, this uses all the ways down here. Boom! Even has the Mario 2 sound effect you're throwing. I don't know, people don't like to mention other people. I don't really mind. I don't really care. I like talking about other people all the time. You know, give them, give them a shout-out. Maybe you never heard of them before, you go check out their stuff. As I mentioned a project that they were doing, and now all of a sudden you're interested in it, you know? Spread the love. I'm not expecting to get, like, you know, a million subscribers or something from some shout-out or whatever, but, you know, I'm just saying. I don't know, I, I guess I'm in that classic lp -er, uh, state of mind. It's weird, I've been doing this for a while. Like, a long while. Now, like, I think it's seven years in, uh... In, in August, which is it's now. Yeah, it's seven years, like this month, that I've been doing this. So, I'm not like uber popular by any means. And some people have gotten popular in less than a year, doing the same thing as me. But I, I still have that class, like I said, I still got that classic state of mind where, I don't know, I just like to show people out and stuff. Like, wow, I, I got killed by that guy. How many lives am I at? They, they're not generous with lives in this game. I got five, but that's not a lot at all. I'm gonna wait for that fly to come on down here. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I've been doing this a long time. I, I would like to say I'm pretty good at it. Honestly, like, sometimes I, I just kind of get overwhelmed with what I'm talking about. And, you know, sometimes the games get the best of me. But I'm, I'm pretty good, I would say, at playing games. I'm, I'm pretty good at... at you know, making videos at this point. I'm not, like I said, I'm not expecting some sort of special recognition or anything like that. But I'm glad you guys have been sticking around for as long as you have, because I really enjoy doing this. It's a lot of fun. Like, right now, I'm just playing through Mario Bros. right now. I'm talking, I'm saying stuff. It's not live, which is why I really love Twitch, by the way. Um, I love playing games on Twitch, because that is, that's, that's the dream right there, just to be able to talk to you guys. And, and you know, just play a video game. I, I'd love doing that. I might like that more than this. Because the idea of live streaming back when I first started doing it with, back with COG, right? When I did Secret of Mana, uh, way back when, like, that was fun. That, I got to talk with people live, and it was just a blast. You got to play through Secret of Mana, you know? So when Twitch came about, it, I was, like, so excited for it. But even before Twitch was around, I was streaming on Ustream, trying to stream stuff. I remember playing wrestling. I made a wrestler with you guys. Uh, oh, man. I'm really regretting getting rid of that pow block. Man, I need that back. But as you can see, like, this is getting crazy now. Like, fireballs everywhere. Like, this mode definitely gets for donk. But yeah, I... I, I've streamed through Mario 3 before, 
Ashroom through Red Gravity, in fact, Xanadu, Mega Man X3, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I did Punch Out. I did Oracle Seasons two years ago, or ages, with the intent on doing Seasons, a uh, linked game, which I was going to do, like, right after it, and just never got around to it. I'd still like to do that. I don't know, I just, I, it was an all-day stream, and I'd want to do the same thing. I want to do an all-day stream, but i got to find the time for it. I'm just really busy. At the time, I was really busy then, too. Um, there's, there's me trying to destroy one of those things with a headbutt, but it formed too fast, so... I got greedy. There was no reason for me to even attempt that in the first place. Okay, I need, I need to destroy this guy. There we go. But yeah, like, it's... I don't know, streaming's fun, playing video games is fun. <laughs> The idea that I can do this and, you know, potentially make a living off this, because I'm not. There's some people that do. Uh, that's not me. I definitely still work at the movie theater after all these years. I'm going back to school, though. So hoping to do something with that. There's Sarah, I got the second star. Look at that. 200,000 points. There we go. Phase 24. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting five stars. I don't know if I can even earn any more extra lives. I don't even know what the requirements for that is. Because I, I got one at 100,000. I don't think I got one at 200,000. I might have got one at 30. I think that's like a classic score for arcades. 30,000. Right. Uh, I shouldn't have gotten that. That was a waste. Just for 800 points. Oh, you know what? I'm not just doing this just to live. I'm trying to get a high score. Arcade games are about getting a high score, so you know what? Yeah, risk my life for some coins. Yeah, do stuff like that. Yeah, I'm trying to get a high score. I don't know if there's an end to this. I don't know if you get to phase 99 and then it's like, you know, go outside or something. <laughs> This might be one of the longest videos for this, actually. Well, not if I die. <laughs> if I die, then I, I won't. Whoa. Fudge! <laughs> I even see that form. I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, this is where you really gotta step up your A game. I like Look at that. I just lost two lives just like that. It's not like Super Mario World where I had 200 lives. No, I got three now, so I really gotta step it up. I tried to get them both. That would have been nice, too. Oh, well. So, yeah. Play, playing video games is fun. Going back to school. I'm not making a living off this, but I'd like to. But every every view and every comment, you know, helps me out. You destroy those, and I can't believe I haven't shown that off until just now. I've been trying to, I just haven't succeeded. I think the red fireballs give you a thousand points for taking them out. I don't like flipping guys that way. I keep trying to flip them towards me, not away. Every little bit helps. Ah, oh, darn, I got greedy. That's what I get. They even do anything. That fudge. Okay, well, I'm not getting him. He's gonna come through. Fudge, man, that bounced mad for. There we go. And I would have, if that wasn't the last enemy, I would have gotten hit there too, which is pretty funny. Oh wow, it's spines, eh? I don't think they're actually. You know what? These ones are definitely spines. They definitely really look like spines, but the original ones didn't so much. There's a, there's a 1,600 point right there. Bam. Well, it's technically 2,400, I guess. Because, you know, I got... I got them both. You can set up... I think... I think if you kick over either four or five, I think you can get a one-up. I've done it. I, I, I don't, like, I've kicked more than two anyway. I know I've done 2,400. I, I want to say I've done one more. I, I, I think you can get a one-up by doing that. Pretty sure. Because you can just kind of keep these guys on screen. Oh, fudge. Oh, man. I don't know how that. Oh, because I ran into it. That's why I broke. Okay. Ah, 
I like when you move around and Mario makes little noises. It's pretty funny. There we go. Bonus level? Yeah, it's got the bonus level by now. Or not. Phase 29. Man, we're, we're going far. We, we might get to 300,000 points. There we go. Look at those coins. Give me that shirt. <laughs> I feel like so many memes have been invented for me since I started doing this too. But I guess in seven years, I mean, <laughs> that is to be expected. But this is kind of the game that I would, I've, I, I like playing. I like playing classic platformers like this. This isn't classic, I guess. Mario Bros. is, but... You know, it's weird. <laughs> People tell me, like, oh, N64 is old and GameCube's old, you know? And you know what? They are. It's sad. It saddens me to say that, but in terms of video games, they are old. But it, it doesn't feel right to me, just because I've been playing games for so long that, like, I remember when the N64 was brand new, like brand new, and and now it's not. <laughs> now it's anything but new. Can I get this guy? Yeah, but I have to wait till I come down here. <sighs> Don't freeze these, man. But it's definitely not new anymore. Which is just really strange to me. But I like playing this stuff. This stuff will never get old to me. It'll always this will this stuff kind of stuff will always be new for me, cause and I I've kinda like kept things preserved for me like that. Not at the current moment, because I'm moving out, but I had all my systems hooked up at once, so I at any time I could play anything. So it's not like, oh I'm you know, throwback Thursday, I'm playing my NES. No, I, I just play my NES sometimes, you know? Just because, why not? It has good games on it. So what? They're not as graphically impressive as some of the stuff out there. It's definitely better than a lot of the stuff that's out there. I'll play Super Mario Bros. over The Order 1866 any day. Is that what it's called? Nah. I haven't actually played that game. I don't know. I just heard it's short. I don't know if it's any good. But yeah, these kind of videos are, I don't know, it's just fun to do. Let's plays are fun. A lot of people poop on them too. Like, you know, let's let's plays don't really require any kind of work. And I mean, I guess they don't. I'm literally just playing a game and talking. But you know what? I'm having a blast doing it, and it's not fair for people just to hate on that just because of that. Yeah, some people make a ton of money on it and they make a living off of it. Yeah, and you know what? I I've mentioned this before. I'm I'm not gonna hide it. I would love to do that. The idea of just playing video games and, you know, just making money like that just by talking and that, yeah, that, that isn't that, that's the dream for people who like video games, isn't it? <laughs> you can just make a living by doing something you like, or off a hobby, you know? There we go. There's a thousand points. Told you to get a thousand points for that. Got my face. But yeah. <sighs> Fudge. I'm, I'm on my last life here. Oh, I got an extra life? When? Oh yeah, because I did the bonus game. Okay, I gotta be careful. Maybe I'll get one for 300,000? If I see that... Fudge! Yeah, this is where... Like, look how look how insane the screen's getting. Like, look at all the stuff on the screen. This isn't even the last enemy. He's blue now, because I failed to flip him over two times. Oh, man. Really getting hard. Oh, now he's in rage mode too. <sighs> Dang it! Is that it? Am I dead? Yeah. Okay. I have a continue, but I'm not going to. Because I'm not. I was hoping to get the 300,000. I could have gotten three stars. Oh well. There's some classic game over sound effect. You are dead. You are dead. <laughs> Phase 32. Yeah, good for me. Oh, I only got one star. What, do you have to actually get like a million to get five stars? Is it every 200,000? That was every 100,000. Oh, so I wouldn't even gotten another star then. Whatever. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I've been Odin's back 33 
And this has been uh, Super Mario Advance 2, Super Mario World, and next time is Metroid Prime. So I, I think it's next. Or that and the e-reader levels for Mario Advance 4. Do those both at the same time. Till then, take care. Bye now.